night. I've got to say, that's the first little bit of blue sky I've seen in a while. You can actually tell those are like rain clouds up there now. Before, it just all looked like smoke. Hey everybody, it's Leo. I hope this video finds you doing well. I wanted to make a quick video talking about the smoke in Klamath Falls. First, I'm going to show you something. Okay, the first thing i got to do is let my ghetto neighbors stop yelling at each other. Hey, hey Siri, air quality. I don't know how well you can see that because there's weird glare going on, but it says unhealthy 161. Earlier it was like 274, I think. Anyway, there's been a lot of wildfires around nearby, so... Oh my lord almighty, I can't even talk. Anyway, there's been a lot of wildfires around here lately, so everybody needs to be well aware of what they're doing if they're out and about. Don't smoke and throw cigarette butts out of your car. Just be smart about everything that you freaking do. Uh, air quality has been taking a toll on everything. You know, I've got uh, a little bit of asthma, and so this stuff definitely doesn't help. But I must say, in the years past, I could smell the smoke much, much stronger. Uh, this year, I don't really smell the smoke. And when I don't smell it, um, I do a little bit better out in it. I don't know if it's a mental thing or what it is, but even though the air is super unhealthy, I've been able to still kind of manage it and do different things. A couple updates. I'm thinking about making a video working on my buddy steve -O's car. His car is a big pain in the butt. It's like a 2004 Chevy Cavalier. And that thing, everything in it is old and rotten away and just hard to work on. So it might be cool to make a video replacing some wheel studs on it. I'm not sure when we're going to be able to do it. I was going to finish the job today, but the air quality was so bad, I didn't want to, to do that job at all. So we just I canceled on him, and hopefully he's got a broken off wheel stud, so hopefully he can just make it a few more days, and we'll get that job done. So I might have an upcoming, upcoming video on that. Look at that. It's not even that bad anymore. It's kind of like they actually look like rain clouds instead of smoke. And I hope each and every one of my awesome subscribers out there are having a good summer because, um, you know, we are. We took a trip to Portland and we went to OMSI, which is a museum. We went to the Oregon Zoo, had a lot of fun. Um, and when I did that, I took my daughter and my wife and son went on a camping trip. I'm not really a camping kind of person, so I stayed home. And one of my friends, if he watches this video, he gave me flack for it. But man, I did so much camping when I was younger. Camping nowadays just doesn't interest me. If I can't have electricity to charge my GoPro or my watch, or my phone, and no cell service, I might literally just... So yeah. Oh, also, we went to the Ella Red Key Pool. It's a really cool, like, geothermally heated thing. I'll insert a tiny little footage here. Hey, that a Jimmy Jimmy. GoPro says hello. <laughs> We're at the Ella Red Key Pool. Never been here before. It's geothermally heated. It's pretty awesome. This is my watch. Everything's waterproof down here. We all float down here. Uh, right, today it's closed because the air quality is so flipping bad. You know, it's unhealthy to go outdoors, so they just shut the whole pool down. The other crazy thing I heard about all the smoke out here is that the um, is that OSHA was like driving around to businesses that like have to work outside, I think like construction sites or something, and they were actually shutting them down because the air quality was so bad they didn't want them working out in it. I didn't even know they did that kind of thing. I thought OSHA was just kind of around and showed up when accidents happened. I mean, I just, I don't know. Hmm, let me think. I made a couple other videos that I swore I was going to share with you guys. I haven't made them yet. They're all on my iPad. So expect a slew of like working on car videos coming up. Uh, so we're going to have some car content and some vlogging content. As soon as the weather gets nicer, I'll take the GoPro out a heck of a lot more and do some cool stuff with it. Um, but for right now, we're just kind of chilling. We're in like indoor mode. I'm just outside to show you guys the smoking and stuff like that. But for the most part, we're hiding and just trying to breathe good air. And it's been so hot. Um, you know, my air conditioner doesn't quite cool the whole house down. So usually we suck in the cold air at night with the fans. We haven't been putting the fans up in the window because it's too smoky at night. So our house never gets quite as cold as it used to before it's all of a sudden 80, 90 degrees outside and the air conditioner is struggling to do its job. So it's just been, <laughs> it's been pretty hefty. 
Um, also, uh, oh my gosh, I'll tell you something else that happened. I, I'm going to share this clip with you. Me and Steve-O, yesterday when we were working on his car, everywhere I go with this dude, Steve-O, right, he gets approached by people. He's got like this kind of personality where people just want to talk to him. I'm kind of the exact opposite. I think with the facial hair that I've got going on and the way I just carry myself day to day, people don't want to talk to me, and that's how I like it. I don't want to talk to random people. This dude was offering us, uh, he was offering us uh, weed. Uh, he's offering to come help fix my buddy's car. Said he was a licensed mechanic, yet this dude doesn't have a car of himself. Uh, he was trying to get to Medford, trying to hitchhike, tried to get me to offer a ride to, clamp, uh, to Medford. Here's what happened. The Highway 140. That's what I've been trying to get to. Where in the fuck is Medford? <laughs> Medford? So Medford's back that way. If you go to the Washburn Way stoplight, it's like a couple stoplights this way. Uh -huh. Turn left on it, and you'll go down past Walmart, and then you'll hit. The I wish I, I wish I could get to Walmart. Because yeah. I tell you what, then I wouldn't have no worries. <laughs> Walmart's a better place, yeah. Yeah. Well, hit these guys up. I can't give you a ride because we got to go. We're running out of daylight, man. Hey, but no worries, man. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yep. All Good right, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Take it easy, guys. Good tell. Ow, my foot. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is so silly. I'm just like, nah, no, we, no, not giving you a ride. So that's about all the fun stuff that's been happening. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, we're going to keep doing product reviews. We're going to do vlogs, and we're going to do um, car videos. So hopefully those things are still relatively interesting. Uh, if you're from the Klamath Falls area and you have any requests on making a video, let me know. If you're outside of it and you want to see what's, what's changed, I've been thinking about doing a little video where I like, take the camera and I like go through downtown and I just show the things that are changing. You know, as a resident here, you drive around and you see changes. You see buildings going up. You see businesses going out of business. Uh, maybe there's people who grew up around here who wouldn't mind seeing that. So I wouldn't mind sharing it with you, uh, that kind of stuff. So it's just a thought that I'm throwing out there. If anybody's watched this video this far and has an idea or thinks that's a good idea, you know, let me know. All right, got to go. Don't want to breathe any more of the smoke. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.